Welcome to another episode of UCRD Reviews. So today we have a P Bandai figure from Mobile Suit Variations. This one is the MS06 V6 Zaku Tank Green Macaque version anime. So this is an interesting mobile suit, uh, one of many variations of the Zaku Tank and was used primarily for uh, doing repairs or carrying large cargo. The name is also interesting. This mobile suit is green, but is not a macaque. Uh, macaques are little monkeys, and uh, I don't quite know why they called it a macaque, but it is what it is. That's what they call it. So we've never had a figure of this, it, uh, it did appear in Gundam Unicorn, which is pretty cool, uh, very, very briefly. And it's just a little short tank, pretty much. It's a little construction mobile suit. It's the second construction mobile suit we've had in version anime, I believe. We also had the Worker Zaku as a non-combat mobile suit, obviously based on the uh, Zaku 2. But... What's interesting is, aside from the head, all of the parts on this are new molds. So it may look like a Zaku 2 uh, torso from first glance, but it is in fact very different, and we'll check out why. So let's go ahead and look at the figure. All right, so the uh, I was kind of curious how the Zaku tank would be packaged, and it looks like they split it in half. So we'll take a look at the more boring half here. This is the base of it. This is uh, obviously based on the Magella attack tank, so you have some emblems and markings. Uh, you got the undercarriage there. You have the exhaust here, which looks like it has effect part hard points, but I don't know of anything that would clear this, this uh, back piece here. You have the exhaust coming out the back here the uh, lights in the front, and then you have the 8-tube missile launcher, the Zaku tank's only means of defense, and it is removable. Didn't realize that, but it turns a little bit, and then it goes uh, up and down a decent ways. So, looks nice. You have um, you know, colors are right. These look like panels. They don't actually do anything there. And then, of course, that's where the Zaku attaches. Um, treads are rubber, and the wheels actually spin. So, pretty nice there. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the more interesting part of this. So this is the top half. Uh, like I said before, the only thing that's truly um, a remold is the head of the Zaku, so it comes forward about that far. It can look up quite a bit, and it'll do a full 360 like a normal Zaku 2. Top of the head's removable, and the mono eye can be moved around just like normal. You don't get a commander antenna for you know obvious reasons. It's a worker Zaku, and the colors look nice, and you have a little marking on the side of the head there. The arms can come forward quite a bit. There is a little bit of chest flex there. This piece will rotate 360 degrees. You have a front cockpit and a rear cockpit, as well as the canopy here, which is multi-jointed and rotatable. Again, 360 degrees. Pretty cool. Uh, this is used for accessing mobile suits for repair when you're not in a hangar bay. Normally in a hangar bay they have those um, horizontal workstations that you can take a lift to, but if you're in the middle of the battle, or in the battlefield rather, you don't want to do it in battle. If you're in the battlefield you have to have access to get up top of a mobile suit and this is uh, something you would use, which is pretty cool. It can lean forward about that far and it'll lean back a little bit and there is no uh, side to side. You do have two little uh, skirt flaps here, 
and you have the base of the uh, tank here so it can go forward about that far and back a little bit and you have these two pieces which I guess are just exhaust vents. The arms themselves have two small shields that are ball jointed. Um, the arms will come up about that far with the shield in the way and uh, looks about probably that far without it. It may go further but I, it's really stiff. I don't want to push it. There is a rotating joint here that will rotate 360 degrees and then you have an elbow joint that will go about that far. So pretty good there. There is a rotating joint here in this seam that will again rotate 360 degrees and then you have these large manipulators that look really nice. You have rubber cables here, some hydraulic sculpting, and multi-jointed manipulators here. So they're jointed here, here, and then you have this um, hydraulic piece. You do want to be careful with that. Um, it's jointed here. It'll rotate up and down and uh, looks really good. So, and it can actually hold stuff. Paint looks nice. You do have some cool markings uh, on various parts of the Zaku and uh, just looks really cool. I actually like this design so you can uh, go ahead and attach it together. It snaps in pretty securely there. There we go. And so it, it's a short little figure but it sits just like that. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at, well, nothing else, because as you can see, there's no accessories, there's no effect parts. Would have been nice to have the um, crane that we saw in Gundam Unicorn. It didn't have this. It had more of like a crane. It was pulling a ship out of the sand. That would have been cool to have. I don't really see the purpose of effect parts for this one. Um, but yeah, there's, there's nothing with this figure. So let's go ahead and skip forward to the comparison. Alright, so we have the uh, green macaque here and the real marking Zaku 2 here. So as you can see, there is a huge height difference. Obviously the Zaku tank is much shorter given that it doesn't have legs, but the canopy being extended will come about to the height of the Zaku 2. The green coloring is a bit darker and there's not quite as many markings on the green macaque nor does there need to be. Oh, there's one there that I forgot to mention. But uh, very different. You can see the big difference in the chest. The chest is uh, completely changed. They got rid of the cockpit in the chest and changed it to external cockpits on the front and back. Um, the side armor pieces stayed the same. The arms, again, are, are wildly different. Um, more tubular, and then of course they have these giant manipulators at the end of them and uh, still has the cables on the head and the torso and then I mean from there it's a tank. It's completely different so really neat to see them side by side. Definitely makes me want to have the uh, worker Zaku. So the Zaku tank green macaque actually got released. I'm still kind of amazed that we got this before the regular Zaku tank uh, which is also an MSV design. Um, this figure looks really good. The paint's nice. The markings are all correct to the line art. And it has most of the features that it needs. It did end up costing me $62.20, which would be pretty good for a P Bandai figure, but in this case, this comes with no accessories, no effect parts. Doesn't come with the crane from Unicorn, which would have been cool and the bottom half of it doesn't even have any articulation or multiple parts I mean it has multiple parts but you know there's no there's no legs here or you know anything crazy going on it's it's as basic as it could be the top half has a lot of articulation and and details but the bottom half is pretty simple so you would think the price point would be quite a bit lower you know around fifty dollars but it's over sixty and may even be more than that now so 
this is really going to be one for people who like the design and don't necessarily care about um, variations on posability. Um, it is a neat figure, it's something I'm glad to have in my collection, but you know, not something I'm going to have out displayed. So let me know in the comments if you picked this one up or if you passed on it, which would be totally understandable. And uh, thank you for watching the review, uh, and I'll see you next time.